that man tortured talk. Tortured talk, baby. You know what it is. Hey, man, look. So today, I want to talk about something. Um, people are saying that Kendrick only beat Drake because of a technicality. So I want to get into that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I feel so good today, man. Before I get into that, I got to get my legendary spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing if you're new here. Let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sex, sexy, sexual. All of, yeah, that's a good one. Sexy and, and, and single is sexual. All the beautiful, sexual ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links is in the description. Now, I really don't want to put the thing up on the page no more. It's just always in the way. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it in this corner up here or down here. And it's always going to be there so you guys can see it forever. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. So, look. Um, and let me know where you're from too, man. Appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? And they call me the hidden gem, King of the North. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000 subscribers. So thank you. So look, we're going to get into this video. Be back to discuss. All right. So look, man, Marcus at work media, you know what it is. Make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel. All right, man, let's go. Welcome back to Marcus at Work Media. So, buckle up, it's gonna be a long one. There's people in Canada, repping Toronto, that still to this day, after everything, believe Drake won, and Kendrick only won off. I, listen, listen, I wanna explain something to y'all, listen. I don't know how anybody, and I'm being, I, and I'm not, I'm not gonna be biased, I'm going to be as objective as possible. I don't know how anybody can think that Drake won this battle. I don't know if y'all just coping. I don't know if y'all just melting down. I don't know what it is. But I could never understand how any of y'all, anybody, that's from West Coast, East Coast, down South, China, of uh, the uh, Bangladesh, I don't know, Brazil, I anywhere, I don't understand how anyone can say that Drake won that battle on any level. I don't understand it. Any level. I don't understand it. Even in, if you try to take the rap route, he loses there. If you try to take the writing route, he loses there. If you try to take the production route, he loses there. The creative route, he loses there. Everything he loses in. Hit-wise, he loses there. Anything you can think of, he loses in every category. I don't understand how any of y'all, any of y'all, can say that this man won that battle. A technicality. Kendrick only won because of the PDF line. And I'm like, what the what are you talking about? Knowledge, yo, the world thinks that this other man won. I acknowledge that. Yeah. But, but why did they think the other guy won, though? But all the people that think... Oh, no, but why we, did it... Why? But then, then you get into the science of it. You have why? To, yeah, you'd have people to talk about... People think you won because... Fall line. So, that's people, why you, so that's why you think... So you think this whole battle is... You think he won? The battle won a... Thing. No, I'm asking you a question. No, no so, I'm telling you that so, when I hear people talk about, oh, so if Kendrick got Drake, so if that's because they made a... All claims stick to him. So if that... Fall line is not in there, but everything... <laughs> Bro, you can't be serious. You can't be serious. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo. This is incredible. This is incredible. Oh my God, this is incredible. I gotta run this back. <laughs> Listen to this clown. Clown. 
think he won. The battle won or the fought then? No, I'm asking the question. No, no so, I'm telling you that so, when I hear people talk about, oh, so if Kendrick got Drake, so if that's it's because they made a out claim stick to him. So if that foul line is not in there, but everything else stays the same, you think people, even on his side, wouldn't think that he lost? If Kendrick doesn't hit the foul thing, then I think Drake's comment about planting the daughter story carries more weight in the internet, and I think he wins. <laughs> Are we listening to the same... The level of delusion that on, is on these people is out of control. I've never seen this. The level of delusion. Bro, yo, we're six months past the battle. We're literally six months past it. And y'all still saying that he, he could have won. He could have won. That's what you're saying. It's like saying, man, he got knocked out. Well, he could have won if he didn't. If he didn't move to the left, he would have won. He got knocked out. <laughs> There's nothing else to say. He got beat. Whether you're saying he lost through the PDF or whether you're saying he lost because he lost, he got smoked. There's nothing else to it. I don't understand why we're even having this conversation. He got smoked. That's it. You could try to pull out excuses. Well, he would have won if he did this. I could have won a lottery if I played it, but I didn't. I didn't. So I didn't win nothing. He lost. He lost. You notice he keeps switching his hairstyles. When people don't notice that, he got braids one day, then he got a low cut the next. That's how bad he lost. <laughs> and he got braids the next day after that. Like, come on, bro. You can't be serious. Y'all can't be serious. Oh, my God. It wasn't a close fight, was it? No, it no, wasn't a close no, fight. No, no, no. no. Was it close, no, no. Was it close before I knocked him out? No, no, no. no. So I hope you got your bottle. I hope you got a little smoke or something to relax because uh, you see how this is going. If Kendrick didn't land the PDF line, and it was removed completely, would people still think he won? This person feels <laughs> like if the line wasn't in there. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. So let me get this right. I could take out the PDF line, right? Because you're saying certified lover boy, certified pedophile. Take that line out, right? Even if you take out the A minor line, right? Let's say you take out both of those lines. He still wins. <laughs> <laughs> he still wins because of the colonizer bar. He still wins off of euphoria. He still wins even if you take out, even if you take out the daughter. Take out the daughter. He still wins. He still wins off of talking to Adonis, talking to his mother, talking to his father, and talking to him. He still wins. He still wins either way. He was more creative. The battle was better. The battle was good because of Kendrick, not because of Drake. Let's be clear here. Drake has some, he has some things here, but it was more like he was trying to fight, trying to fight his way back to the top of the ocean when he was drowning. That's it. But he ain't had, it wasn't, it wasn't nothing crazy. He didn't do anything crazy. What did Drake do that was crazy or out of, out of control? Nothing. Euphoria wins. Even if he never dropped nothing else, Euphoria is better than, uh, than, uh, than uh, Family Matters. It's better than Family Matters. Before he even got to 616, Euphoria is better. Then you, and then 616 is better than Family Matters. And then Meet the Grams is better than Family Matters. The only song y'all can say that's it, it, it's Drake's trump card or Drake's winning, whatever y'all want to say, is Family Matters. And all of Kendrick's songs are better than Family Matters. All of them. Even if you say, well, Family Matters is better than two of them, right? He still wins. Because it's better, because all the other songs are better than all the other songs he put out. It's only one song y'all keep putting out there. It's Family Matters. Y'all ain't talking about push-ups. Y'all definitely ain't talking about Telling Me Freestyle. And y'all not talking about uh, uh, Heart Part 6, which was garbage. That was trash. How can he what had won? What, in what capacity could Drake had won? I don't understand it. Explain it to me. I need to understand this. In what capacity could he had won that battle? He had two songs that were automatically trash or deleted. He deleted his own songs. So how could he have won the battle? Or for what? You saying he won off of one song that had three verses? Euphoria had three verses. Three different beats. 
What are we saying? Drake had the better songs, the better cadence. He wins by default. I say bull I, <laughs> I like, it's, it's, it goes without saying, bro. Like, not even on the worst day did Drake win because of just that line removed. Just the breakdown, the lyrical exchange, everything, bro. You're clearly not listening to the music with the same level of detail. The real Kendrick hip hop fans are listening to it because if you did, you would understand and not even make that claim. But like Ali said, God made us different. No, no, we're just human beings. He made all of us. We all, listen, blue birds fly with blue birds, red birds on be with red birds. Listen, listen, tell me when I'm wrong. Exactly. Because I don't think he lost, so it's not to me. But you're the only one in the world. But wow. what is so, you but, think I'm the only one who don't think Drake lost? Because the fandom and standom started to take precedent over the actual creation of the music and pushing the genre, I think we entered a new era so the music, where... the music doesn't move the fans. People just do whatever <laughs> they want. And there, there were different metrics were being used because it was people that weren't necessarily ingrained into the DNA of that artist where they would die for them, deciding who they felt had the better showing and better outing. But now we've reached a place where the logic and who's making the better record actually doesn't even matter anymore. And that is a dangerous, like it's a double-edged sword because one, it means that people are impenetrable when it comes to beefs, which means if a beef That's goes away true. that an artist doesn't like, their career isn't over the way that it used to be. But... That's facts. I'm not agreeing with everything he's saying, but that last part is actually really good. That's facts. What he's saying, the level, the level of what the artist has reached. It just, I think that when it came, when it comes to this, I think it's a little bit different for Drake now. I think it's a little bit different for him because I think that there are people who are starting to see that he just doesn't have it like he used to. And I think what he's saying is that there is a level of, uh, of, uh, the way that the reason these guys are so big, like Kendrick, Drake, all of these guys are really big that even if they take a L, it doesn't really matter because the fans don't really listen to the, the, the rap and part of it and what they're saying. I mean, I kind of agree with that. I mean, I agree with that. I agree with that. Also, it means that there is no definable metric to really say artist one beat artist two because you can say that Drake had the better showing and a better outing because he had the better record. But then now we have to get into the dichotomy of what is a better record. So he's basically trying to say, hey, standom culture is right up there with the actual fan culture that's live or die by that artist in what they believe and what they stand for in the history of their artists. So that would be equivalent of hip hop lovers and then casual fan that can be swayed either side based on the shiny object that's put in front of them. But apparently that standom fan culture is rival the hip hop lover culture. So a lot of times when we're coming down to decide who's better and who's not, people are conflicted because it's based on objectively how they feel about it. What? Yeah, that, that was a lot, bro. <laughs> that was a lot, bro. That was a lot. I'm just saying, me personally, me personally, I'm just going to keep it short and sweet. He lost because Kendrick was a better artist. That's it. You could try to pretend, oh, if he didn't say this, he said it, though. All this if he didn't do this and what if he didn't do this or what if he didn't say that? It doesn't matter. It was said. And even you are admitting that it was said. You said if he didn't say that, he won. So you admitting that he won. What are you arguing about? You could say if yeah, well, yeah, man, if, you, if I didn't do this, that would have had happened. If I would have did this, like, bro, all this, if, 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 it doesn't matter, it happened. We're dealing with reality. I don't understand the argument that people make from the standpoint of fantasy. You can't argue from the standpoint of fantasy when we're living in reality. It happened already. You can't say, if he had did this. That's like me saying, if I would have went to the movie, and if, if, if they didn't have this person in the movie, the movie would have been better. It was a trash movie, but the only reason why it was trash because they had him in the movie. If they would have took him out, it would have been a good movie.
but it was still a trash movie. It's like, what are we talking about? Bro, what are you talking about, man? That's all bullshit, okay? We all know K-Doc took that by a landslide. Family Matters, yeah. Push-ups, yeah. I mean, he had a decent track. Like, put it like this. If he wasn't going up against Kendrick, and if it was like another Meek Mill situation, maybe we can have this debate. But with K-Dot and what he was able to produce for his songs, cadence, bop hit, all across the board, lyrical breakdown for bar for bar, it is not even a comparison. But let's That's continue. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. It's not a comparison. It's This is not a comparison. Like, I don't understand these people who defend Drake when it comes to this battle. There's other people who say this. It was another podcast that I did where the boy was basically saying Drake ultimately wins because Kendrick ain't going to be able to keep up with this. He not going to be able to keep up. See, his problem is, Kendrick's problem is, he won't be able to keep up. And what's going to happen? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen is he gonna fall off. And see, he done into the new, he done into the new bracket now, the popular bracket. It's like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's like, come on, bro. You make good music, you make good music. That's simple as that. But see, this is what I mean. Like, these dudes will say anything to try to side with Drake. It's like, bro, he lost. You could easily just say, nah, he lost that battle. I think if he would have did something a little bit different, he could have won, but he lost. You trying to argue the point of he could have did something. Look, the reason why, because if you, if you take that away and, and you know, they something to you, and you take this away, you take that away and you take this away, he would win. It's like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. It happened already. You're going to be saying that in 20, 20 years from now, you're going to be saying the same thing. I remember back in the day when it was two arts, Kendrick and Drake. It was popular. And from my understanding, my understanding, Kendrick only won because he lied on Drake. And niggas be like, the kids, not niggas, <laughs> the kids be like, well, who, let, let's hear the songs. Then the kids of the songs be like, nah, dad, he lost that. <laughs> nah, he lost that, dad. He lost that. No, nah, but he, you gotta stay. No, 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 no. He was, he was, the, he, he was lying. He was lying. He never had it. He never had it. That's the thing. He lied. He lied. He lied. And that's why people say he won, because he lied. It's like, nah, dad, he just, it was just, the music just better. 20 years from now. Trust me. Everybody agrees Duffy Freestyle's a better record than Son of Addy Don. I've never heard nobody say different. However, You're a the bro. lie you that per- Yo, you are bugging out. You're bugging. First of all, listen, let me explain something to y'all about battle rap. Because a lot of these dudes, they just, if a person raps fast or they rap, now don't get me wrong, W Freestyle is fire. That's fire. But it's about impact. Battle rap does not mean just because you have better bars or better lyrics that you win. That does not mean that. There's a lot of battle rappers who are not that good lyrically, or at least they don't perceive to be that good lyrically, but they still beat battle rappers that are lyrical because they create moments in time that can always stay around. You don't always have to be super bar heavy. You can always, you can rap, rap, rap. That's great. That's great. But nobody remembers Duppy Freestyle, even though it's fire. Nobody remembers it. Everybody remembers Story of Adidon. Everybody remembers it. Even Drake said he lost. So you can't sit here and say, oh, well, I mean, the, you, it's nobody that says it's better. Okay, there's a lot of people that would say that, that uh, what's the name, is better. But what do you remember? Because people remember Story of Adidon. That changed, that shifted Drake's career. Duppy Freestyle ain't do nothing to, to push a T. It did absolutely nothing to push a T. I don't care how, how you would say, how you try to spin it. But you remember Story of Adidon. That changed Drake's whole life. It really did. Created the zeitgeist. Wait, which lie? On, on not, Story not of Adidon? I'm sorry, the information from Son of Adidon. The Adidane. information that people didn't know about. The information that people didn't know from Son of Adidon. You were hiding a child. Therefore, you win. It ran, because that's what people, that, 
Do you understand what I'm saying? That's what people were talking about. But it doesn't matter if it was true or not. That's my point. They didn't know. The record that leaves us with something that we talk about... Memorable. ...is the winning record. Yes. Yeah. It's not about the music. <laughs> that is the music. <laughs> Yo, you can't make this up, bro. That is the music. It's the music. What else would it did? What else is there? You're saying that it's not about the music. It is about the music. The song was a diss song. It's a diss song. Like you, what are you trying to say that he should rap better, rap another way? It was still about the music. It's an impact. It was an impact. The, the song created an impact that changed Drake's life. What are you talking about? It's a. It's a, literally a song. It's not something that he just said. He. He literally rapped it on a song, and you're saying that it's not about the music. It was a song. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, bro, people just be talking to talk, I swear, because they have this here. They have this here. They just be talking to talk. It's like, yo, come on, bro. <laughs> Listen to this, this clown. Listen to this clown. True or not? That's my point. They didn't know. The record that leaves us with something that we talk about memorable is the winning record. Yes. Yeah. It's not about the music. We, it yeah. never no, is. Okay, so all I'm saying is since 2020 hasn't been. He literally said the record and then said it's not about the music. <laughs> the record that leaves us something to talk about is wins. It's not about the music. Then what is it about? What is, what is the record? Is the record a song? <laughs> Like, what are you trying to say? Like, come on, bro. About the music. So talk about memorable is the winning record. Yes. Yeah. It's not about the music. We, yeah. It never is. Okay, so all since I'm 20, saying... Since 2020, so it hasn't all, been about the music. Exactly. So all I'm saying is that for me, mm -hmm. I acknowledge that, yes, Kendrick, you gave us the better talking point, but the other man made the better music. <laughs> How did he make the better music, bro? This is crazy. This is golden. How how did he make the better music? How? <laughs> In what capacity? Where? How? The beats wasn't. I'm, I'm just mind blown by this. How? This is how you know. When they say people be delusional for people they like, this is clearly that. This is incredible. This guy literally said he made the better. It wasn't about the music. So what was Kendrick doing when he made Euphoria? That wasn't music. That was the better talking points. When he made 616, that wasn't about the music. You know what I'm saying? My confessions is yours. That wasn't about the music. None of that. You know what I'm saying? Then when he made Knock Like Us, Not Like Us, must have done a beat. Oh, beat, bro. That's not about the music. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my God, bro. Oh man. I really want to debate people like this. I need to debate a guy like that. If y'all know who this dude is, tell him that Torture Talk want to debate him on the same topic. Please tag him and have him. Email my email and we could set it up because I need to talk to this guy. This is nuts. You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga. On face value alone, even if it's not true, he did make that shit sound good. It's just what it is. And in hip hop, sometimes lies work. This is entertainment. Don't cry about it. Throw a fucking punch. <laughs> Sucker, you ain't nothing. You too ugly to represent us color folks. Kendrick only won because of that line. And you focus on the music. And Drake made the better music, not worried about the memorable line that Drake won still. And I got a question if you had a concussion or not, right? Because what the fuck are you talking about, bro? What are you talking about? Because Kendrick is all about the music. Drake is the one that's not about the music. That's what Kend I'm saying. Like, what are we talking about here? The dude 
Kendrick literally gave you four different type of songs. How is it not about the music? Every one of the songs sound totally different from each other. They don't sound nothing alike. All the Drake songs sound alike. And you say it's not about the music? This is incredible. I never seen nothing like it. This is Kendrick crazy. is more about the bars and the lyricism than Drake has ever been, ever been. In whatever period of time that he was ever remotely lyrical with his poppy bullshit, it was only because of the ghostwriters he had behind him. How many credited bars only he wrote that match any bar on the worst day of Kendrick? Not even f***ing close, bro. Do you feel like being a part of the Kendrick community that Drake only won? because of the PDF line? Put your comments below. They're giving away free dental implant scrants to people who need to fix their teeth. Get a perfect smile without paying All right, man. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling y'all, man. People, know, people need to go get checked out because some of y'all be saying anything. That's crazy, bro. You said that he won off of a technicality. He didn't win off the music. So Kendrick, <laughs> Kendrick had Drake's songs was just better. So push-ups and Taylor May freestyle. And bro, these Jones is all over the place. And, I, and and this is how you know this is how you know that uh that Drake lost because nobody cares about those songs, bro. They might care about Family Matters a little bit, but all the other ones they might care about. You know what I'm saying? Nobody care. It's just it's just so weird to me how how this how this whole thing came about. It's wild. <clears throat> I'll tell you, man. People are really delusional and um i just don't i don't know no more man can't you can't compare the two he lost he lost bro kendrick smoked him bro i don't know why y'all even sitting here saying all these things man all right man see y'all peace <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.